Okay guys, before we start the video, I just want to tell you that uh, we've now fit the, the sieve filter. I'm about to uh, show you the video, but when I bought all the fittings and I took some advice off a young lad behind the counter, it's pretty evident that he didn't totally know what he was talking about and with hindsight we should have known this before we started so the sieve filter is fitted perfectly um, but it doesn't work with the three chamber filter as you'll see and then I'll, I'll show you I'll talk you through it at the end what we're going to do next thanks for watching and welcome to Pomfret's Pong Lovely sunny day here in Preston and uh, we've got all the bits together now, I'll just talk you through the preparation for fitting the sieve filter. Clean this filter out, the vortex and the three chambers out uh, a couple of days ago now and already just to see, I don't know if you'll see this but to show you how efficient this is it's it's removed a substantial amount of waste it's due for cleaning out but because we're gonna fit the sieve tomorrow uh, I'll be cleaning out anyway I'll just talk you through all the bits we've got so hopefully we can connect all that to the existing pipe work and onto the sieve I'm going to try to uh, connect some of the piping now so that we're, we're ready uh, just to lift it in tomorrow. Um, I've got a three inch to an inch and a half converter here for the other side of that pipe, which is the sump where all the waste goes, and that's going to be connected onto there. I'm going to uh, connect some inch and a half pipe to that with an elbow on it, which which will probably come out that way. Connect a flexi hose to that, and then jubilee clip it to the other side of this pipe that's coming through the wall. So when I'm cleaning the sieve, all I need to do is plug the the pond hoover into here, turn it on, and then wash the filter out. So I'm going to connect some of the pipe work now. Be back with you in a minute. What are you doing, Molly? <laughs> so this is where I'm up to so far. I've got the uh, three inch to one and a half conversion on. And the rubber boot to connect the two inch pipe to this flexi will be jubilee clipped onto that pipe so far so good so that's that side done with the hose fitted as well now um, I'll move on to the other side which is the four inch 90 degree rubber boot hey guys hit the first problem the flange on this Cetus sieve isn't very long and when I try to tighten the 90 degree boot on it, the tighter it gets, because that coupling is close to the edge, as I start to tighten it squeezes itself off. So I'm going to wrap up now and we'll uh, 
we'll start again in, in the morning when my son comes round and uh, see if we can get our heads round it. Okay, it's now the following day and I'm uh, in the process of draining the pond. The vortex works so gradually that it it takes a hell of a lot of solids out. Um, the problem is the solids. It's as if the solids are sat in the bottom of the pond because the vortex and filters effectively become part of the pond when you've got a bottom drain. So hopefully the sieve filter will reduce that waste that's laying on the bottom of the filter. Uh, last night we came across a problem where where the rubber boot effectively kept slipping off uh, that flange there that's coming out of the sieve. It's bad to see in this light. So I've got a four inch to four inch adapter tried it and that will stay on it because the jubilee clip is closer to the edge of the boot so that will stay on so the pro the pro now we're going to put a plastic bend from that outwards and then the rubber boot going that way so i've had to buy i got this from a local plumbers merchants and i'm going to have to adapt it so that it's sort of female, uh, male to male rather than male one end, female the other. So I'm going to cut this edge off and grind off these lugs. Okay, that's the vortex out. Next, we need to get the sieve filter installed. Bit of make and mend, and we've uh, that's now substantial. Guys, we've got massive problems here. When we measured the pit, we didn't take into account the space that these 90 degree rubber boots were going to take at the back of the filter so after much head scratching and lifting the filter in and out we've had to put it sideways and that will give us enough space to fit the rubber boot behind it right onwards and upwards thank god that's done absolute carnage it's like a bloody war zone but it's in we were at one stage we were reconsidering plumbing the vortex back in and selling the sieve filter but we managed to work our way around it originally what should have been at the back here is now at, at the side this this pipe for cleaning the sump i'll leave against the inside of the wall now and i can plug me over into it when i'm hosing the uh, sieve out to clean it a lot of the uh, the piping had to be removed from this side in order to get the sieve filter close enough to the wall to be able to get the other piping in at that side so it wasn't crucial piping it was just for emptying the filters so I'll now have to put that pipe in round the outside and reconnect it to the the pipe that goes to the drain here. 
so time to start clearing up we started this at uh, nine o'clock this morning what time is it boy about Pong's filling up. Quarter past six, six fifteen in the evening. We started at nine o'clock this morning. We've had to make trips out to buy piping that we didn't think we'd need. And anyway, that's it. It's in. I'll, I'll do. I'll do another video when it's up and running. Okay, just, just going to clear all the tools up and uh, wait for the pond to fill. So, uh, I'll do another video showing it when it's up and running and the pond's full and pumps running and everything. Kill Molly. Okay guys, apologies for the noise, but uh, here we go again. The sieve filter's fitted, and when I tried to fill it with water, the theory was that the pump would draw the water through the three chambers and empty the sieve. But in reality, and with hindsight, once you fill these three chambers, the gravity fills the sieve filter, and all the pump does is empty the last chamber so we're having a rethink the three chamber filter is now coming out and it's going to be replaced by a five tier two five tier homemade backy showers filled with pumice and fed by two Tempest up filters but that's one for the next video thanks for watching so if you're enjoying our journey please like and subscribe and thanks for watching Comfort Pond